welcome to Adulting 101. I'm Joanne from the Berkeley Library, and I'm going to show you how to take a basic meal and repurpose those leftovers into a couple other meals so you don't get stuck eating the same thing every night all week. So our starter meal is something probably we've all had before, a rotisserie chicken, some frozen veggies, and rice. Now, I went the super easy way, getting ready-made rice in a bag that you just have to microwave. There's no shame in that. I take whatever shortcuts are available to me. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to make is a pot pie. So for the pot pie, just take a small dish that can go into the oven. You're gonna take some of the chicken, put it in a bowl, some of the leftover veggies. And you can add whatever veggies that you have leftovers of anything else in your fridge. Cream of whatever soup. I had grabbed cream of celery, you can use cream of mushroom, they have cream of chicken, they have lots of different varieties. Any of them will work. Stir that in. Add some milk to thin it out a little bit. And whatever seasonings you care to add. I have some poultry seasoning mix here. Salt and pepper, obviously. Um, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, you want to make it a little spicy, add some cayenne, or you really can, it's yours. Do whatever you like, I won't judge. So we just mix this up. Pour it into our oven safe dish. Smush it down so it's in a nice, even layer and then you top it. I got a small can of buttermilk biscuits. it in the oven. 350 should be fine. 350 works for most things. And you leave it in there until the biscuits are nice and round on top and the filling is nice and hot and bubbly. Now we're going to make fried rice with our leftovers. I put some olive oil in the pan have some diced up onion. We're going to cook this until the onions get soft and translucent. Now I'm going to add some garlic to the pan. You should always cook the onions first for a little bit just because the garlic cooks faster and you don't want to burn that. There is, there's no coming back from burnt garlic. Then we're going to add some of our leftover veggies. Now this is just a mix of peas, carrots, corn, and string beans. And we're going to add our chicken. Stir everything around until it's getting heated through. Okay, everything is heating up nicely. Now you just kind of slide everything in the pan off to one side and we're going to crack in a couple of eggs. Now I always crack an egg 
into a separate dish first, just in case you get shell in there or anything else. Or if the egg isn't good. And I just scramble it. anything else in your fridge that you want to add that you think would go nicely, go for it. This is a great way to use up any little bits of leftovers. Now that our egg is scrambled and set, I'm going to mix it all together, add in our rice, and soy sauce. whatever other seasonings you want. If you want to add some teriyaki, some oyster sauce, um, fish sauce if you have that. There you have it. Chicken fried rice. Nice huge plate of it. going to make tacos and rice and beans. So I'll put oil into one pan and a can of black beans and some garlic. Okay. And we're just going to heat these through. While these are heating up in our other pan, I'm going to add some chicken. And I have a packet of taco seasoning mix. The ingredients say to use three quarters of a cup of water with it, so I will add the packet and the water. If you feel like making your own spice blend, go for it want to add some extra flavor to this, be my guess. We're just gently stirring and warming up the chicken. It's already cooked, so we don't need to worry about bringing it to a certain temperature. This is just to heat up the chicken and thicken the spice. While we're waiting for those things to eat, I'm going to cut up my lime. I'm using fresh lime. There's no shame in using the little green plastic squeezy one that's like a dollar in the grocery store. I'm a lime enthusiast. I love the flavor, so I go for the fresh. Now we just let these heat. So our beans are pretty well heated through and the garlic is cooked nicely. We're going to add the rice. And squeeze, nice squeeze of lime juice. If you have a zester at home and you wanna add some lime zest to this, go right ahead. You also don't need any kind of fancy, there's all sorts of tools out there for squeezing lemons and lime. You don't need them. I just hit it with my hands. You can use a fork. You don't need to feel like you need a special tool for every separate job in the kitchen. Okay, turning heat off on our rice and beans. And our chicken, as you can see, it thickened up nicely. Turning that heat off as well. 
Got my plate with tortillas. I like to put the cheese on first, so that way when I put the nice hot chicken on top, it'll get it meltier. Is that a word, meltier? I made it. So there you have it, three totally different dishes, all made from the one basic starter meal. I hope that you can take some of these ideas, keep your food from being boring, the same thing night after night just to use up those leftovers. And thanks for watching. Support public libraries, like, share, and subscribe for more great videos.